120 field of view and a karambit. And I can bunny hop around. That'd be the best. I'm the best. Okay. Let's do another run. We could PB on this. Sub 130? Maybe? Maybe? Imagine if Ethan could bunny hop. That'd be that'd be freaking wild, dude. Yeah, this game would be insane. I'll bet a thing for the lurk. Alright. We got a couple new splits in here. We removed uh, an erroneous split. Gifts we gave See how it goes. You took, she snarled. Did you say something? Well, that was a, that was a fast what baby turn, dude. That was a good one. <laughs> we got the best FPS esports in history. Dude. That book's too scary for you. It would probably be jank. But it's fun to imagine, right? Almost there, honey. Okay. We're doing it. An eight-man free-for-all in the village. Our reverse. They better have a village map, dude. Okay? They they gotta. Like a, like like a baby. baby. Mm, that smells good. What's that? Oh, hands off, Mister. It's Chorba de la Cum. It's Chorba de la Cum. I mean, they could do castle, full native. village, local wine too. But if you're gonna keep Heisenberg section, native. no. <laughs> Probably not. <laughs> you really have to stop worrying. Also, forty-one fifty-three. That baby turn saved us uh, half a second. The pregnancy, Chris moving us here. His first actual run, dude. Any questions? I might be able to answer them. No guarantees. How's the new game plus for this game? Uh, it's pretty straightforward. You just kind of blast. Kind of easy. Seriously, think we can just forget about what? It's mostly movement. It happens. But it's definitely fun. It's definitely very fun. Why you are so... That's true. Pew, pew, pew. Get down. The way they mocap this scene is so awesome. She did. Yeah, the mocap is really good. It has such a nice, like, weight to it because of how they did it it's oh, so good God. any wall skips uh you mean like out of bounds there is two out of bounds that are used in the glitch route uh but we've been running no major glitches we've just been getting a feel for it i'll do any percent at some point but what why 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 not why not Ethan? <laughs> any wall skips there there is kind of like the lady d roaming around reminds me of the jack roaming kind of stuff where she like appears and like walks through a door randomly and you're just like oh shit <laughs> no problem mm -hmm. the, f the first thing he should have said when he walked in is that's not your wife is she? that's all he has to say Right? Like, Ethan literally says, you killed Mia! And then, he, 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 that's his opportunity. That wasn't Mia. <sighs> that wasn't Mia. Your baby's in danger. I'll fill you in. In the car. <sighs> yeah, dude. <laughs> that part, <laughs> it's like, you should have told him. And Chris is just like, yeah. Like, <laughs> he's like, I know. Oops. Could have really saved us some grief there, dude. <laughs> he's just, yeah, that's my beat. <laughs> okay, yeah, let's say my number then. 14, 9, 6. Yeah, the Hound Squad guy is like, you should have told him. Well, there wasn't time. There was definitely time, my dude. And we run into Chris, like, three times. Like, he only tells us the last time. <laughs> I 
<laughs> I don't know. Chris says there wasn't time. I guess I guess there really wasn't time. I don't know. That boulder punching asshole. Yeah, I love how Heisenberg is like aware of Chris and his boulder punching exploits. Heisenberg's a true gamer. He played RE5. He played at co-op with uh, Moreau. Alright, we gotta get this fast uh, no no cutscene thing. I've been fucking it up the last few runs. It saves like probably three or four seconds. Let's see if we can do it. Oh, we fucked up. <laughs> I turned too soon. It's pretty free, as long as you turn quickly. I ran out of mouse pad. I just need an infinitely large mouse pad. Problem solved, dude. Did you see that one? I stood, I okay. stood on the sorry oh, did all this. to revive you. Oh, almost forgot about that one. I think there's still a couple retries I haven't been doing, but... Some of them, the load time takes so fucking long. I'm like, what? I moved forward a foot for six seconds of load. I mean, the dollhouse section was something else, for sure. The dollhouse section was like, they channeled PT. What happened? Or, like, Silent Hill for that, you know? Um, very kind of psychological, fucked up body horror. But, I don't know. Seven had me panicking like Anakin, you know? Seven had me freaked out. Yeah. Seven scared the shit out of me. Seven scared me so much, it took me like half a year to actually go back to it. I got like an hour in, and I quit, and I didn't play it for like a year, a half a year. Quite some time. Juicy. Juicy. I'll take it. Farmer deadlifts. Welcome in, Phil. I have no idea what a farmer deadlift is. Sounds painful. Oh. Sam? Steve? I forgot what we're calling this guy. <laughs> well, that's the other thing. I am very sort of desensitized to horror in general, but when I first started running 7, since that was like my first speed game, I was not desensitized. So, seven, my first playthrough, like scared the shit out of me. And then once I started speedrunning it, horror games in general just haven't been as scary since, you know? So it's like a carrying bar instead of the normal one. Sounds, sounds good, dude. You got your pump on. Nice. I haven't been to a gym in so, so long. Yeah, running horror games definitely takes away a lot of the uh, fear. But still, there's plenty of games. The first time I play through it, I get plenty scared, you know? You mean like for, for gerbs? You getting a new you getting a new gerb? Oh yeah, you said some, some fucked up shit happened. I assume that was the tip, tipping point. What is... Where are we going here? I'm not... Okay, alright. <laughs> There's no end to them. Right. 
stand in a circle and you can put weights on both sides and then grab the handles on top. Like it's a hula hoop. Holy shit. Yeah, that's not a bad idea. I mean, especially right now, dude. Things are sort of starting back up, but not quite there yet. You know? Dude, I feel that. I had a I had a gerb like that. It was not worth not worth the pain. I was I was running myself ragged, dude. Yeah. Sometimes it ain't worth it. You can find something better. You're smart, you know? Plenty of places want you. Sure. Oop. Don't need to settle, you know? Took me a while to realize that. It took me like three years in a shitty job before I was like, yo, this place sucks. And then I got let go due to bullshit reasons, and I was like, great, I can collect unemployment, and I didn't want to be here anyway. It was like, excellent timing. Hmm. There's so many remote positions and stuff. I think we might be losing some time here, but we'll see. I know I can get this closer to like 9.15, but whatever. Oh. Oops. What was the reason? Uh, like nepotism, basically. Like the company wasn't doing it very well, and the... Um, the boss's son was, uh, or do you mean Zeke? <laughs> the boss's son was working for the company. He was, like, on the payroll, but, like, he wasn't doing jack shit. And, uh, basically I was let go because they weren't earning enough money to pay both me and the boss's son. So they, they let me go. <laughs> Since then, I don't think the company is doing that much. I, they're basically totally fucked at this point. So, uh, kind of good I got out of that business. They weren't, like, giving me any raises. They weren't... They were treating me like shit. I did so much work for them. I worked overtime. I made them, like, a bomb-ass website that they underpaid me for <laughs> by a lot. At the time, I thought I was getting paid decently, and then somebody put it into perspective, and they were like, yo, you've done, like, $10,000 worth of work for this company that they haven't paid you for. Like, any other company would have paid you out the ass for a website like this. And I was like, shit. You're right. Hey, nice. Cool. Yeah. I knew something was fucky when I found out Boss's son was on the, uh... Is it? I was, I was the one perpetuating that, but somebody told me otherwise, but... Maybe I was right. <laughs> I should have trusted myself. It is? Fuck. Alright, next time. <laughs> We're definitely killing your ears. Um, yeah, I knew something was fucked up at the job when I realized Boss's son was on the payroll and I hadn't seen him, like, at all. Ever. Like, I s he popped into the office every now and then. But he was, like, on the payroll as a salesman, getting paid significantly more than me. Because he was the boss's son. I feel like that might be semi-illegal. I don't know. I don't know. I ain't a lawyer. Hello? Hello? I kind of wish this light flew around the room, you know? Be fun. Oh. Oh. Wrong. Okay. <laughs> Didn't do some semi-legal stuff, yeah. Well, it's like, it's one thing when it's like that. It's another thing when it's like, yeah, like, you're not getting paid that much, so we're just, like... I worked at a deli, and they just paid me under the table, because, you know, like, they were just giving me cash. Like, so it's tax-free, so it's kind of illegal. But I was getting, like, I don't know, $500 a week, something like that. Yo, FTLG Marathon and Corey, thank you for the hosts. How's it going, dude? From your entire village? All that's left. All that's left? There is no one left! 
Ah. You gotta get out of here. You gotta get out of here. So this is where I'm supposed to pause, right? In fact, I probably should have been pausing for the other stuff. Wait, am I supposed to pause here? I think I should have paused sooner. Right? Yeah, I think I should have paused sooner. Damn, the fire's moving. Whoa, fast. whoa, whoa! Frame rate, please. Yeah, dude, I'm doing good. Chilling. I know. Thank you, Ethan. You're kind. I just don't get it. Trying to get a little peepster, if we can. I don't know. I'd like to get this sub-30. I know it's definitely possible. Probably a few things I could be doing better to save some non-negligible chunks of time. Death. Yes. Death has visited them all. Nice. You like the hag? You mean Mother Miranda? Nothing but blood and death. Huh? Good job. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, so I think we fixed where we were splitting incorrectly. I think there is a split. Please? I think there is a split we can enable for this, but... Eh. The man is no real Not much to optimize in this section. My daughters do so well. Entertain them, foreigners. Uh. Furthermore, I can show you... Enter castle. Maybe we could enable that. <laughs> that might be useful. Jesus Christ! It is. It is indeed. Run for your life. Run for your life. <laughs> Cory in the house, dude. Cory is in the house. Shit. I was looking at real estate in Australia. <laughs> Don't ask why. <laughs> and, like, oh my god. At first, I thought the places were kind of expensive, and then I realized they were in Australian dollars. So, what, and then I converted it, and I was like, oh my god, I could have, like, a beachside place for rent for, like, less than what I'm paying for this. And, like, it has a backyard, a deck, a fence. Like, yeah. Keep out the dingoes and the wombats. Wait, do those freaks have rows? <laughs> <Three. laughs> you, gotta, you gotta keep out the dingoes, the wombats, the wallabies, the koalas, the spiders, the uh, snakes, the alligators. Do they have alligators? Yeah, they definitely have alligators down there. The junkies. Americans, yeah, you gotta keep out the Americans with your big fence. Tear it down. I ain't right. No, Alyssa was telling me they had to build a giant fence to keep out the dingoes. The, the dingoes were such a big problem in some part of Australia, right? They had to build a giant fence, like a great wall, just to keep, just to keep out the dingoes, because the... Those dingles, they'll fuck you up, man. You don't want to see how the dingo dangle. Enough of that. Remember, just walk 
<laughs> I'd love to visit Australia. That'd be that'd be pretty sweet. I don't, I don't know if I'd want to live there, but be cool to visit. Crazy witches. We have some time save in the castle. I don't know what else we messed up, but we definitely have some time save here. Juicy. See? Like I said, we got some time save. Here and there. Where have they taken Rose? Oh yeah, I'm missing those pause buffer strats. Pretty minor, but slice your jugular. I know they're they're out there. Once you know it, there's time save out there. Uh, you gotta get it. Speaking of which, I'm so surprised how well knife only runs were going for us. Like, I am gonna de-rust it more, but we almost like don't even need to. I mean, there's there's a couple sections. I would like to get the out of bounds first try. It's very reset heavy, I would say. Where I won't blame myself too much if I can't get it first try. I almost wonder if the rocket pistol bounces it around even more. Do a little juke. Don't get grabbed. I can't believe Cassandra caused all this mess. All this mess. <laughs> Easy. <laughs> Thank you, Capcom, for putting the cursor, like, right where it needs to be for that. Juicy. Or, the crosshair, rather. Cursor. Crosshair. Eh. We ain't unlocking the door anymore. You don't unlock the door. I'm not doing that anymore. Probably could have interacted with that sooner. Oh, I think that's a pause buffer that we should have done. Right. Juicy. Yeah. Oh, we could save time here. I know that. Shall I give you the tour? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why that didn't work last time. We did it like exactly the same, and something weird happened. Where she like started attacking us, but. Just knocked Ethan down. It's kind of weird. What have you done to my daughters? What have you done to my daughter? Nothing. I didn't do nothing. Could have done that fast. No. What the hell? Hell.
<clears throat> also, I was thinking at one point that the rocket pistol and the stake had a little bit of, like, slowdown when you shot them. But I tested frame by frame, and they do not. They have no slowdown. Like, shooting the stake, or not shooting the stake, or the rocket pistol... Juicy. ...doesn't uh, actually affect slowdown. Went frame by frame. At 60 FPS, it was kind of a pain in the ass. What the hell do you ungrateful, selfish? Took me like a dozen attempts to even make a consistent method where I could like run from one side to the other and have it be the exact same time. But then I I made a setup for it. Oh yeah, I gotta get rid of that. <laughs> Thanks for reminding me. That is no longer uh, a thing. HIG. Next Tuesday, another one. No. You will learn what it means to insult House Dummy. It's a little sketchy. <laughs> oh yeah, it is the same charity. <laughs> I totally... I didn't even realize that. Literally the same charity. <laughs> Juicy. Nice. Oh, saving loads of time, dude. <laughs> Running will get you nowhere! I literally did not even notice that. But it's cool. I'm doing a lot of, a lot of like sort of outside stuff between marathons and helping out with uh, FTLG and kind of like. Good. Now that I'm on my, uh, like, we're past the one year mark on Twitch. I've sort of like established some some sort of credibility. Uh, very little, but tiny bit. Now I want to do some like outreach and sort of. Less focus on me, more focus on other stuff, you know? Dude, yeah, listen. Can't be fucking around, man. You better put on a good show. <laughs> no pressure or anything. Um. I should fucking reset. I was trying to do the wrong note, right note like, fast strat for when you have to play the same notes, but I kept confusing which note I had to actually be on. So we lost quite a lot of time there. It's cool, though. You disgusting outsider. Good. <laughs> so you... I don't want to I'm sick of bugs. Juicy. Nice. need the rock to slot. <clears throat> nah, dude, I'm sure you're gonna kill it. I'm excited. I'm really glad they put it in GDQ at all. Nope. Wrong. I'm just glad somebody got uh, RE7 in GDQ. Like, I knew... I knew, like, I submitted knife only. I knew it was a fucking long shot because that's like almost two hours. It's like an hour and 40 minutes. So I was like, yeah, like, it makes more sense to do the shorter, uh, 
short of run there. Not to mention, you and Cat have more credibility with GDQ, I think. The entire bloodline of House Domitresk is done in by, by the likes of you. you. Why is that question mark at the end? <laughs> so so weird it's like they didn't have question mark in the font so they just had to like slap one on there yeah dude that's that's fucking awesome like two is better than one for sure but like i wonder if they chose it because it was presented as a race or i mean not to diminish from you and cat's skill obviously but i'm saying like i wonder if that that was an influence or Maybe because Village was coming out, and a race of RE7 is kind of like the most interesting thing you could do with all the hype of Village. Like, they're not going to put Village in the game, or in the uh, in the marathon yet. Look at how long it took for Mario Odyssey to make a GDQ. Yeah, might have something to do with that. Village release hype. Definitely. Either way, I'm I'm just fucking stoked. Somebody in the community oh, got into GDQ. To I'm gonna be slamming in those donations. I fell like really far forward there. Did you see that? Did you see that, dude? What's that? What was that? I like lunged forward. That was kind of cool. I if I could do that consistently, that'd be pretty sick. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen that before. Stupid man thing! You won't live long! Even if oh. Run. Damn. Scooty Puff Jr. Scooty. I thought I messed that up. Oh god, this split name. Honestly, thought that was gonna be a knife that we could use. That would have been cool. That like sweet dagger. Yeah, it could have been a knife skin. Well, I really like the uh, little gun charms that they added. Like, you get the, the uh, Mr. Everywhere gun charm, and the raccoon gun charm. Uh, I kind of wish they had more <laughs> for other guns, like one, uh, one for the shotgun. Give me a little Leon, like... Didn't commit, yeah. A little boulder for the Chris gun? Oh, that would have been so good. <laughs> like a little a little bobblehead Wesker for the uh, Albert. Missed opportunities, dude. Jack Baker head. Oh. Don't be shy. Show me your teeth. 
<laughs> Somebody has to mod that. Jack Baker head instead of the Mr. Everywhere thing. I could have shot a little bit sooner, but he's fine. Oh, forgot about that. You're the one who's cursed. You're the one who's cursed. Got him. You said Mark's and I said Mark. Oh, that would have been so good. A little Jack Baker head. Oh. Uh, looks like I'm getting out of this place. Juicy. Rose. That's the face of a man who's just realized what he said. Yo, 41 followers. Nice. Here our voice together as one in reverence. In reverence. We call on thee. Okay. I think these splits will now be right. I might want to put one between now and Jack Handle, if there is one. Although, I don't know. Maybe Duke? I don't know if there is one. I don't, I don't, I don't really need one. Not much going on in this section, anyway. Is this... Like I was saying earlier, this, this early into the run... Like, having an auto-splitter, an SRT, like, <laughs> this game has only been out for a few weeks. Actually fucking insane. The work that uh, Video Game Roulette and Cursed Toast have done. Fucking insane. Like, you would, you would think this is a run that's been around for like a year. Right? Like, you would think this is a speed game that people have been doing for long enough that everything is already figured out, you know? Like, when I came to RE7, <laughs> then the entirety of RE8 development. Yeah, dude, you're not wrong. Alright, we're gonna go for the yeet. Yeet! I don't know if that hit. Hope that hit. If that didn't hit, we're kind of fucked here. That's that's like a time loss that we can't sustain. Can you from from like the back side of the door? No shit. Juicy. <laughs> yeah, the optimization is crazy at this point. Oh, cat, please. Cat on the desk. Cat on the desk. I hope you hit that shot. Hang on, I have pause time. Yeah, yeah, boy. No sweat. Yeah, I mean, just imagine how, how this game's gonna look in a year. If we're already at this point, like, oh my god. Forget it, dude. I think the any percent category has a super strong potential of uh, really coming down in time. see the Duke again. Given enough time. By the way, we are calling it any percent, right? It's any percent and no major glitches. Is that official? Is that a fish? How was yeah. it? What are you doing, man? Anything? Come on. I found these feathers. Now tell me how to fix this. Like you said you would. Settle down. First, you must use that key and collect all of your little rose. Oh. All right, well, that's like four seconds time saved because we didn't do that last time. Because we hadn't <laughs> loaded a save. Uh, 
I actually need to make a save after looking at the map so I can do that before we start running. I know, dude. Lately, I've just been relying on... Like, because the first run is usually not going to be a good one, but it's going to get to a point where you can't bank on that, you know? And I'm going to want that time save every single time instead of having to deal with a potential four, five-second time loss or whatever. Um... Do you think that because the games are so similar, the No Major Glitches categories are going to be optimized or close? Mia? What do you mean? What's going on? Yeah. I think so. I think so, too. Just because there is some uh, variability in the time save for your out-of-bounds. You need a... If you can get a perfect, perfect out-of-bounds, like, you can really maximize the minutes saved. And then you need everything else to go right. What the hell is Everyone leaves. That's why, like, I'm gonna incorporate the out of bounds eventually, but first I want to tighten up every other section, because as much as the out of bounds does skip, there's still a lot to the game that you can fuck up, you know. Yeah, well, decently optimized, but it's it's still at the point where it's seeing changes like almost daily. Every time I watch you run it, there's something new that's changed, and I'm like, wait, what the fuck? It's optimized, yes, but it's not at, like, you know, perfection, I would say. Yeah, new shit every day because a nerd found something. Yep. Yep. Yo, Kapow. How fast this game really feels fast, at least for no major glitches. Um, I mean... If you're asking, yeah, okay, like, good question, actually, good question. If you're asking what I think you're asking, um, like, if RE7 wasn't, if RE7 didn't exist, and this was the first first-person shooter, uh, game, like, if Village was standalone, and there was no RE7, um, I don't think it would be nearly as optimized as we're seeing now, because we already know how a lot of the mechanics work, since they're so shared between 7 and 8, you know? Juicy. Um, Good question, though. Yeah. Yeah, dude. Good question. Took me a second to understand it. But, yeah, without 7, I don't think we would be at where we are with 8. Figuring out retries and FPS tricks and all that stuff, you know? Yeah, for sure. Same seek. A lot of the reason why I'm able to get semi-decent times without very much practice at all, like... <laughs> Is, is solely because of my experience with RE7 and how the mechanics work and how they carried over to this. So, yeah. Good question, dude. Hadn't really thought about that, but yeah. Absolutely. If RE7 wasn't a, wasn't a thing at all, like, w w this, this run would probably be like two hours. Like, two hours would probably still be a good time because we wouldn't know shit other than, like, maybe boss fight mechanics and little things. But all these, like, minute optimizations that you use multiple times throughout the run, that shit would be all fresh. It'd be stumbling to figure all that stuff out. And then no auto-splitter, no uh, SRT, presumably, because SRT development really picked up towards the end of... Uh, or b right before Village released, the SRT for 7 was kind of completed. So we had VGR already looking at RE8 in the demo. He had already started developing an SRT at the demo. Um, so, yeah. We were, like, ready for it this time, you know? Whereas 7 took a long, long time. Four years to get an SRT. Like, <laughs> compared to, like, day one SRT for Village. Which really, really helped us understand, like, how the, how the boss fight works in phases... Which was another borrowed mechanic from RE7. Yeah, now that you mention it, dude, that's a fucking... That's a doozy of a of a brain thing. Hey, that was pretty good. Yeah, definitely. Definitely, dude. Yeah, I mean, like... Let's assume that VGR was in the picture, even if... Um, 7 wasn't a thing, right? In this, like, theoretical world. Uh, speedrun tool. So you see how I can see Ethan's health, and I can also see enemy health, but I actually kind of fucked up my layout. You guys can't see enemy health. Um, it just lets us optimize boss fights quicker and stuff. 
really made a difference towards understanding how phases work. Iframes. Uh, all that stuff. Egg does games. Welcome, Andy. Juicy. Yeah. Yeah, dude. Kid Poison. Fucking dope question. Crazy to think about a world where if 7 didn't exist, where would we be with 8? Like... Oh, come on. Come on, dude. Oh, yeah. I think so. I think so. Oh, just change your username. Wait. Eggy? <laughs> Lord Eggy Gaming? Or another egg? <laughs> you want an SRT for Made of Scare? Oh, you were Aegis of Ages. Now your egg does games. Gotcha. Welcome back, then. Hope you're doing well. Got a new haircut. Dig it. That's what I call a name change. Please. Damn it. Yeah, dude. I would have hoped they would give us something. Something tangible by now. Haven't heard shit. Just keep getting these wow emails that I'm super not interested in. Oh god, it's it's hot in here, dude. You might need to turn that AC back on. I'm sweating my, I'm sweating my balls off. Shirt off stream. We might need to go with the Choda, the Brazil. Shoutouts to Brazil, dude. I remember the first time I talked to Choda. He's like my knife only partner in crime for RE7. Um, first time I saw one of his runs, I was like, dude, so do you just, like, are you just shirtless for the flex? <laughs> right? Uh, Juicy. look at that, that weird texture that happens. Uh, I was like, are you just shirtless for the flex? And he was like, no, dude, it, it was 104 degrees Fahrenheit in my room when I was doing that run. And I was like, what the fuck, dude? <laughs> How are you able to speed run in those temperatures? That's ridiculous, dude. Yeah, we're getting juicy all over the place. We need to not mess up Baby Skip, though. Zeke, did you see that stupid fast Baby Skip? Yeah, imagine doing Jack 2, 104 degrees and sweaty, knife only. Oh my god. Oh yeah, he's okay. Shoutouts to Brazil, dude. That dude's a trooper. He's, he's fucking awesome at knife only. You did it? Oh my god. That, that new one is fast as fuck. I don't want to do it yet. I tried it a couple times. I failed it both times. I was like, nope, not doing it yet. Yeah, yeah, dude. It's it's really tight. There's literally like five baby strats by now. Juicy. Juicy. Yep, there's a new, new baby skip. It's pretty wild, dude. Yeah, exactly. There's like four. How do you do knife only for this game? Uh, honestly, butter knife only sucks. I did a run of that, and I won't do it again because it really hurt my hand. It's a lot of mashing. Um, but uh, juicy. The karambit is fun. Karambit's actually really fun because it has good damage output. You don't have to mash too much. It's kind of nice. And then there's also the lightsaber, of course. Of course. Nice. I'm getting it fast now. I just have to remember to wait. If I go too fast, then I, I fuck it up. Dude, I am sweaty. That would be the... That would be the beans, dude. That would have been sick. If there was a way to get past the baby at the door and just 
fucking out of there, zooming. Oh my god. A true baby skip. That would be sick. Well, it's kind of cool that there's like five strats for it. Like, and, and there's a range. There's a distinct range where it's like... You can walk up, turn 90 degrees, and get hit and block punch, and you'll stop in place, and can walk into the baby at 30 FPS, but you can't get through him. That sounds close. Yeah, so you you turn when you get hit, and it instead of knocking you back, it just knocks you into the wall, right? That makes sense, dude. That sounds close to something. Yeah, what's cool is, like, there's easy, slow strats. Like, the strat where you hide behind the door, and then you go around, it's pretty slow, but it's it's safe as fuck. It's consistent. That one's, like, really, really consistent. Um, then you have, like, Ross's strat, which, like, shifts the scale quite a lot. And then you have, like, that, that brand new one, which is, like, super, that's, like, expert tier, you know? You can't learn shit like that for this game. <laughs> yeah, dude, this game's gonna be wild in, uh... Oh, shit. Save time. What a fucking... What a meme, dude. What a meme lord. What an absolute meme lord. That makes two. Alright. Okay. Our splits are correct. Good. We don't need both of those, though. I'm probably just gonna get rid of four-winged key and make it Beneviento house done. But I, I just wanted to make sure it was in the right order. I made my splits myself, dude. Kind of, kind of proud. <laughs> he's not, he's not wrong, but uh, new game plus glitchless casual. The fastest I've seen is spicy. That dude, that dude is actually kind of, kind of plowing. He's kind of kicking ass. Uh, 128.02 or something like that. Glitchless NG plus casual. When he first said that, I was like, glitchless? And he was like, yeah, dude. And then he sent me the VOD. And I was like, oh, fuck. That's kind of good. <laughs> like, that's, that's really fucking good. I have to go through his video, honestly. Yeah. And then his, uh, his glitch times are the fastest I've seen also. So that, that dude's gonna be a strong contender on the leaderboards. And I've, I've never, I don't, I think this is his first speed game. It's fucking nuts. I, I don't know if he has a big, uh, SRC portfolio. But I think, it, you know, he's been, he's been contributing and stuff. That's, that's cool. He used to run four. Yeah. Yeah, he's de definitely doing well. I've seen a lot of <laughs> a lot of people say I think this is world record, but like I'm I'm pretty sure like and and Spicy hasn't been claiming it, but I'm pretty sure Spicy has the fastest time currently for this category. <laughs> you mean uh, Battle for Bikini Bottom or uh, uh, is that what it was? Battle for Bikini Bottom, or... It was, like, Rehydrated? What was it? I was just looking at it on Steam. Battle for Bikini Bottom Rehydrated, yeah. Day one, dude. 
I knew that game was going to be big because um, before it came out, I looked at the speedrun.com leaderboard and there were like a thousand plus people following. <laughs> uh, yes, I believe so. Yeah, that game got destroyed. You never did runs. <laughs> Should learn uh, Cory in the house, dude. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's it's reset hell. It is reset hell. You want to talk about a game where you're resetting a lot? Yeah. <laughs> that is the one thing I was able to garner from watching a few attempts. I'm pretty sure, like, uh, Moist Critical was running it for a bit. And I, I think I watched him run it. That's how you know a speedrun has, like, made it. When you got that dude running it, that's when that shit is gonna pop off, for sure. I think he was, he was doing some village, too, actually. Now that I say that. Pretty sure. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure. Summit talked about running RE7, but didn't do it. That is sad. I don't know if there's a lot of, like, esports dudes that also speedrun. Which, you would think they might go hand-in-hand, because, hand, like, they're both competitive, you know? Damn freak! Oh, shit, maybe I'm thinking of Mr. Krabs Overdoses on Ketamine. Maybe that's what he was running. Yeah, I think that's what I'm thinking of. I'm confusing a legit game with an absolute shit meme game. horror runs that game that is that is that is the true reset hell that's like literally you fling yourself in the first two seconds of the game into the final area yeah juicy Ooh. i've always thought about running some shorter runs not like for the grind but just to have a few under my belt i don't know honestly uh alien isolation CC only is a is a pretty short run. Where if I wanted to really optimize my time on that, I would be probably a few hundred attempts deep. Because once you get it to a point where you got every crouch clip like first try and you got good RNG on the face huggers, then it's like optimizing is a real, real pain. I've seen the struggle. It's fucking brutal, dude. It is so fucking brutal. Especially since the worst RNG parts are so late into the run. Like, basically, like, 18 minutes into a 20-minute run are the worst RNG parts. Oh, what's happening? Blue screen? Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh, the CC only category is pretty fun. I run it. Um, but I hurt my hand really bad running it, I think. So I, I haven't been running it so much. I, I'm an old man, dude. I got old man hands. Oh, didn't mean to do that. That was brutal, dude. Uh, no Major Glitches actually looks pretty, pretty fun in AI. I'd consider learning it. It's kind of long though. It's like three hours. Uh, he said the exit's in the water. I kind of want to play the Dead Space games and see if those might be a fun speed run. I played Dead Space one like a long time ago, and I never played Dead Space two or three. So those would be pretty much all fresh games, and I know they're very good. I wonder if we can do that weird fall here too. Kind of, kind of funky. Nope. Yep. Not looking to fish food. Got a good little time save here. Not bad. Yeah. 
the crouch flipping in uh, Alien Isolation is, is probably the most frustrating part. Because, like, even though you're doing the exact same thing, Sticks. like, it, and... Like, it worked last time, and it worked the previous time. Sometimes the game just, like, refuses to fucking cooperate. And, like, I've I've tried everything from locking the FPS to, you know, boosting the FPS to making it lower. Like, some days that shit just does not fucking cooperate. And it's so frustrating. There's one crouch clip in specific called Elevator. And that is where runs either live or die. It's pretty bad. Can we listen to music while on these runs? Can we listen to music doing village runs? Uh, yeah, it's not consistent. Like, I mean... It should be consistent, and there are people who can get it way more consistently than I can, but for me, like, it was, I was like, I, I have no idea what I'm doing wrong, I have no idea what I'm doing right, sometimes it works, sometimes it don't. <laughs> I mean, the run literally requires you to sometimes flip your mouse upside down and push it around on your mouse pad like it's a toy car, and you're winding up a toy car. N no joke, like, that is the recommended strat at a certain point. Myself yes, because the scroll wheel is bound to crouch. So in crouch clipping, you're spamming crouch to clip through stuff because good game. So to spam crouch as fast as possible, it's bound to mouse wheel. So you can just go... <laughs> yep. That's what crouch clipping be. Oh, please. That hitbox, dude. Losing time. Oh, I have a I have a I have two ma I've I have a lot of mice. Um and I tried it with a free scroll mouse, because this mouse that I'm using right now isn't free scroll, but I do have a free scroll mouse. It's actually less consistent, for me at least, with the free scroll mouse. Because it's not about how fast you're spamming, it's about, like, a consistent rate. So when you're rolling it around, you want to go, like, brrr, you don't want to just be, like, furiously going back and forth. Yeah. No, 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 trust me. Some people have said it works better with free scroll, but I, I haven't... I, I haven't been able to experience. In fact, it was harder for me with free scroll because the rate was inconsistent, you know. But yeah, it's a it's a pretty funky run. All right, I I wasted some time there last time, so should be some freebie time save. Yeah, <laughs> Alien Isolation is a pretty fucking wacky run. I know Nico Hart runs it on steering wheel. I've seen him run it quite a few times on steering wheel. He usually does, I think, the um, FPS glitch category. I think he's actually done every category on steering wheel, now that I say it. Um, but he his his PBs on steering wheel are better than my PBs on mouse keyboard. <laughs> Just to show you where I'm at with the run. That was kind of early. Alright, that should be fine. Nice. Uh, as I expected, by the way, auto-aim fucks you on that fight. Don't have auto-aim on for that fight. Because it'll, it'll, it'll lock on to his body, and it sucks. Come on. Juicy. <laughs> you got infected with the bug, dude. Who's that? It's a fun grind. It is. I mean, the, the biggest part for me, speedrunning, is, like, self-improvement. Like, if I see my times go down, that, that means a lot more to me than getting higher than somebody else on the leaderboard, you know? Like, just knowing that I've contributed towards categories and I've helped optimize stuff, like, knife only. 
not to brag, but we've officially shaved eight minutes off of the long-standing previous knife-only easy world record for RE7. Eight minutes. It's fucking nuts, dude. And I'm proud. Proud of my contributions. And I know Zeke is proud of his. Because he made that run way more hard to do. Yeah, eight minutes. Down from 146 to 138. Hydrate. Good call. Fucking sweating like a pig. Also, they're... here are the cops, dude. Cops are coming for me. Yeah, I'm really proud of how far I got with Knife Only Easy. I did not think I would be that down to grind it. But once I saw there were strats to be made and optimizations and stuff, I was like, oh shit, baby. Let's go. You know? That changed everything. I was like, oh, there's like shit that nobody's ever really tried here. <laughs> Fantastic, dude. That, like, contributing towards a category means a lot more to me than a world record. World records are temporary, you know? Somebody's always going to come along and beat your world record given enough time, for sure. But if you can contribute to the category where future runners are using your strats, then... Cool. Pretty sweet. Okay. Oh my god, I'm definitely have to turn on the AC, dude. It's so fucking hot. Yeah, exactly. And and like it's not about getting named after a strat or having a strat have like nobody calls anything the Yiddle skip or anything like that. It's just like, well, like, it's an optimization that existed in the game, and somebody learned how to utilize it. That's all there is. <laughs> like, I wouldn't want anybody... I don't want anybody calling any... any strat they ever see me do the needle strat. It's so, like... self-absorbed, dude. I ain't about that. Call it whatever you want. Call it what it is, you know? Respectable, I guess. Yeah, I mean, like, I, like I run categories that aren't on leaderboards, and like I, I've done blindfolded guest house re seven, and like people have asked in proxy of me, they've been like, make, make blindfolded re seven a category, and I'm like, like no, like don't, like I'm the only one that fucking does it, like me and like two other people. Pekorka has done it, and maybe like one or two other people, as a meme. Like it's a meme, dude. Like this must be their den. Yeah, our our best blindfolded guest house is like twenty minutes, or I think it's sub twenty. <laughs> Yo, what's up, Jim? What is serotonin? It's a good chemical in your brain, dude. RE4 village blindfolded. Yeah, I tried to learn more of uh uh RE7 blindfolded, but there's too much RNG for it to be fun. Honestly. Okay, big guy. You miss it? Just inject it. Straight into your eyeballs by watching this stream. <laughs> I mean, dude, like it was it was a joke challenge. The first time I did it, I did it with Twitch chat, um like text to speech, you know? And uh it was a shit show. It took an hour and a half. It took almost two hours for us to get through Guest House. And then I was like, wait, there's like strats. Like, you could actually figure this out in a way that it would be efficient. And then we started optimizing it. And like, the first time it was like 45 minutes or something like that. And then I figured out a bunch of audio cues and setups and stuff. <laughs> That's no problem, dude. I just hope you're doing alright. 
taking care of yourself. But yeah. And then we optimized the fuck out of Blindfolded Guest House. I ran Blindfolded Guest House more than I ran New Game RE7. <laughs> I love, I love doing that blindfolded. It's actually really fun. Hey, always better days ahead. Things always get better, dude. Time, time makes things better. What? Let's go. Except for when you're speedrun, then less time makes things better. So I guess that's the exception. But most things, time. We got a lot of crazy shit happening in the next few days. Saturday, I'm running for horrible games. I'm doing some Cory in the house. Uh, it's for a charity marathon. I'm super stoked. We got a lot of new strats for Cory in the house to bust out. I actually have stuff to explain for Cory in the house. Surprisingly. Uh, probably going to be doing more practice tomorrow. I'm just glad we finally get to showcase Corey. 144.06, New Game Plus Casual. Dude, not bad. Not bad at all. You should be pleased. Not bad. Cranking it down, dude. I like it. I know a lot of people have been working hard. A lot of newer runners and stuff. It's nice to see. To see you return it's my alive. greatest pleasure. What was that? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah, once you I assume do you have everything fully upgraded? Because like once you have everything fully upgraded, you have the speed boost. The speed boost food upgrade makes a huge difference. Don't forget about that. It saves two seconds in the first 45 seconds of the run. So presumably, like, it saves probably, like, four seconds for every minute you spend running, which adds up a lot. Yeah, nice. Yeah, the stake, WCX, rocket pistol, and rocket launcher, just for the flashbang in one spot. That's what I use as my loadout. I think that's the optimal loadout. I don't, I don't know if it's going to get any better. But. Uh, I think so, yeah. So do a new game plus Village of Shadows run. Uh, it'll, it'll be hard in a couple spots, but you'll get it. It's, it's mostly only hard at, like, the Heisenberg section and the Chris section. Don't worry about the kid, Ethan. It'll, It'll be, be fine. fine. Ha! I'm going to take a break at the, uh, across the bridge. That scene. So I need to turn on the AC. I'm fucking ah, dying, dude. Ethan Winters. Yeah, the WCX is definitely worth upgrading. Uh, in in Village of Shadows, you get a lot more uh, money. So nice. Welcome back, Phil. I'd like to speak to you about Rose and Miranda. Oh, come on in. Don't worry. It's not a trap. It's not a trap. What are you planning? All right. Quick break. What the hell? Mia? Truth hurts, don't you? <sighs> Let me guess. You're thinking, take me out like the others, and then he gets going, save Rose, right? I'm healing my daughter. Look, 
You, you, you got this all wrong. Tell me I'm talking. Shut your fucking hole! I'm sorry about that. Take a seat. Listen, Ethan, you're being played. What are you talking about? You think this is a game? I said sit! <sighs> Lady, supersized bitch. Ugly, a psycho doll. And then we're on a freak. Don't you get it? It's a test. To see if you're strong enough to be a part of Miranda's family. I don't want to be a part of Miranda's family. Neither did I, but here we are. And I'm next in line, right? Kill me, move up the chain. Well, fuck that! I don't give a damn about your personal issues. I just want to fix my daughter. <laughs> so do I. Do you have any idea how powerful a kid is? Even Miranda's scared of her. Last time, you freak! I swear to God! You and me, then. Together, we can go save Rose, and then we can use her to grind Miranda into paste. My daughter paste. is not a weapon. Fuck you. All right. That's on the table. Uh oh. Do I have enough time? Last chance. To the other side of the man. You don't want to find out what's in that hole. I'll take my chances. Barely. Yes, it is. Your funeral. Uh, we went to the Overwatch League Grand Finals. 2019? 2019. Shit! So this is an official Overwatch League shirt that I bought at the Grand Finals in 2019 in Philadelphia. Uh, yes. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> Yeah, it was kind of a short. It was kind of a short grand final. We were expecting it to go a little bit longer than it did. <laughs> what was that thing? We have a poster back here, but you can't see it on the uh, on the webcam. Also purchased there, and Alyssa got a sweatshirt. Everything was overpriced. Also, there was, like, a lady walking around, and she was like, if you give me your email, I'll send you a free Red Bull. And I was like, what do you mean, a free Red Bull? And she was like, we'll send you one can of Red Bull. And I signed up for it, and... Oh, oh dude, at the beer? <laughs> Worse than sporting events, actually. Um, but, uh, she was like, we'll send you a free Red Bull. This like, I kind of forgot about it. A few months later, I got, like, a tiny little package... Like, it, just a small box. Small, narrow box. And inside of it was one Red Bull. <laughs> it, was a, it was a small Red Bull. Yeah, it was a small Red Bull. Like, the smallest size of Red Bull. It's like, what the fuck? We had a lot of fun, though. It was still a great time. Zed played. <laughs> Zed had a concert. It's kind of wacky. Oh, we didn't even kill him. Juicy. Uh, what's Alyssa's? She she really liked the gladiators. I mean, the teams have changed so much. Who do you, who do you like now? She doesn't know. Yeah. Yeah, th shit, shit has changed so drastically in Owl and and just in Overwatch in general, just with the seems you lack of uh, dive and everything now, kind of wacky. She 
still watches L like on the regs. Oh. Whoa, that was close. You missed that one. Good. Uh oh. So far, so good. I wonder where... Uh, we have some time save in Heisenberg, actually, in the fight. In a few spots. Juicy. Juicy. Oh, that's kind of nice. I'd probably still avoid it in general because potential for copyright muting your game audio, but I can actually set it up so that way I can hear music and it's not recorded on the pod. Oh, Ethan. Such a disappointment. I thought we could... Yeah. Yeah, any VOD mute in, in most games is a reject. Just because there's also a possibility that your run gets taken down as a result of the VOD mute. Oh! Could have still saved time there. She locked us away in the village. Decades of being forced to serve her. Can you even understand? Damn that humiliation. Oh my god, wait, we saved more time than I thought. I'm not like my sibling. We are almost sub I, oh, I should shouldn't have done that. Wow. Bitch. Almost sub 130. Though I need power. I need enough power. Uh yes, I did unlock the lightsaber. <laughs> Are the fruits of my power. The strong will destroy the weak. That's that was like the, the first world. thing. Yeah. <laughs> Biggest letdown. That was like the first thing we unlocked, really. I was like, I gotta get that lightsaber. I didn't watch anybody else use the lightsaber until I unlocked it. In fact, I like I was one of the first people I know. <laughs> Not to brag. But a lot of people I had talked to were like, so how's the lightsaber? Like nobody had really tried it. And they came to me and they were like, how is it? And I was like, it kinda sucks. <laughs> Not as good as I would have thought. <laughs> I was hoping it would just slice stuff in half, you know? Like, forget forget about damage. Just, like, chopping dudes. Uh, it's not too bad. A couple of the levels are a little bit difficult, but if you give it enough tries, you'll, you'll get there. It's not too bad. Uh, I highlighted my uh, Factory SS. Or Factory 2 SS. Because somebody had asked... How did that not... Yeah. Wait. Another one? Flash this dude right here. And we should be good. Please don't jump. Yeah, we're good. Mercenaries is a lot of fun. I recommend it. Probably spent like 10 hours, 12 hours in Mercenaries alone. Really fun. I have triple S on most of the levels. There's a couple that I don't yet, though. Some are way harder than others. Shit. 
That was close. Uh, we could save a little bit of time on Propeller Man. If that happens, it's all over. Like, very little. But we can save a tiny bit. But don't worry. I'll stop it. I'll use Rose to kill Moran. <laughs> Poor Papa. You're the only one who doesn't, doesn't see your kid's power. power. Take Rose? Huh. I'd like, I'd like to, see to see you try. try. Show me your moves. Money. Every time. Making sure he's paying attention. It's dark. It's dark. Might as well. I probably have like a million crystal skulls by now. Thank you. This guy sometimes sucks. This next guy also sometimes sucks. No dude spawned. Out of my... F this guy sucks. What the fuck, man? So annoying. Please? Wow. Good. Good, good. Good, good, good. Wow. No dudes spawn. There's supposed to be two dudes down there. Or, I guess those are the dudes from earlier and we killed them, right? I guess they wander all the way out to there. I didn't realize that. Dang it. Could have saved some time if we didn't get caught on that on me. We could potentially save some time here, too. Right through. Whoa! Oh my god! What the frames? Ooh, there we go. Do I think something like Outlast is worth learning the run for? Uh, no. Outlast sucks. This is coming from somebody who has run Outlast. And hates it. Really, really hate it. No, crazy on him. How's it going? Nice. Hope you're having a nice walk. Hope you had a good day at work. You really are a tough one. Okay. Let's try and get this faster. I'm feeling tired of chit chat. <laughs> Time to die. Damn it. You can hear it. Please. That's still faster. Wait. Not perfect, but. Jeez. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. It's up to you. You can learn uh, Outlast if you want. It really wasn't the run for me. I've never encountered a run where you can accidentally do a glitch and have your run invalidated. You know?
Ow. Ow, ow what? Yeah. Uh, for, like, New Game Plus? Yeah, that's, that's probably the fastest way to do it. You flash him, and then you just give him two shots in the back with the stake. And that's good. Usually he runs off to the left immediately after you flash him, but I, I've been having some weird luck with that lately. Metal polymer composite. <laughs> I was saying ship is kind of equivalent to, um... Or, uh, uh factory is kind of equivalent. Like, this sh section is a little bit equivalent to ship. But, uh, I would say this is more fun than ship. And realistically, there's there's less to optimize here than in ship. In ship, there's a lot that, that can go really, really wrong. Oh, we have to do this. Cool load time. I don't know if I should have switched back so soon, but... Yeah, more mazy than on any other section. Yeah. Come on! Pop! Pop! Thank you. So this is the power of the love. Coward in the face of my steel glory. Guess I do have to Oh, come on. That was almost it. Please, let me aim. There you go. Almost there. Yeah, uh May 28th. The drill enemies are cool. There's a nice variety of them, too. There's, like, a good four different types. Some of them have a lot more armor than others. We lost time here. For sure. Oh, we have no split between now and Chris and do we? That's ten minutes. Up. Oh. Almost forgot we had to shoot him. Are you running on uh, console? Lost time there, but I need to add a split. I could it could even be manual, honestly. Just a second. Ethan, I heard explosions. What the hell happened? I dealt with Heisenberg. Now I'm gonna find Miranda and get Rose back. Not without me. It's too dangerous. Okay. Rose? Ethan! Ethan, respond! Mia? What? Our child. She's so important, isn't she? She's everything to me. <laughs> and mine to me. See ya.
Captain, I've confirmed the death of Ethan Winters. I wasn't able to retrieve the body, but I've recorded evidence. Share your screen, <clears throat> and I'll go over the Yeah, situation. I definitely prefer factory to ship. Been a while since we fought together, Captain. When was the last? The desert? The desert? Doing nothing but recon's gotten yeah. me out of shape. Yeah, I'm curious, too. To your recon, we know Miranda's Definitely. Point. Couldn't quite believe it when I heard you turn Because I'm pretty sure that's where the series is going to go, right? Shots to the heads, nothing to sneeze at either. Spooky. Spooky. Everyone watch for hostile bioweapons. Roger. Made, Made contact. contact. with a group of hostile bioweapons. There's more than we thought. Watch out. Let me through. Yeah, actually. Not bad. Western route is clear. Moving out. Roger that. Ugh, oh, let me through. There we go. Better than before. BSAA craft spotted. Two guards. <laughs> I can take him. Don't get cocky. What the hell is that thing? Yeah. I mean, RE9 might be more action-y in line with RE8. It's possible. I don't know. Yeah, and I do. I, I think we're gonna get DLC for this. There's, there's a lot they could do. I don't know. A couple seconds. Roger. Tundra here, leaving some supplies in one of the houses, Captain. Override. I need some backup. I see you. Two hundred to the boy. Ah, damn. Oh, you bastard! Stop, 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 stop. My mom saw this shit. She thinks she died and go to hell. I've reached the target location. Damn, this is big. I know. It is kind of crazy. Roger that, boss. Alright, we have a tiny bit of time save here if we do everything right. Bingo. Bingo. Reloading ah. now. Just a minute. It's a small pity that way. Bingo. Okay, Captain, I'm reloaded. Ready Come on, just be nice, be nice. Nothing weird. Looks like it's about to collapse. Hold your horses. Uh, no. Oh, does he? Oh, yeah, he does. Looks like he does, doesn't he? Reloading. Be with you soon. Five thousand? Ethan only has a thousand, right? Hmm. I'm reloaded. I never even noticed that. We might get hit. No? We're good. That yeah, is Chris. Good about the way down. I'm going in, the rest of you stay back. Captain, nice. I compared the mold at the village with a sample from the bakers, and... Uh, it's not he is. the genome editing we saw in the E-series. The stuff originated here. Yeah, let's try this. Guarding the Megamycete, huh? Oh, that first nade did nothing. Oh, come on. Tough guy here. I'm gonna need backup. It's boss. You're on the ground. There's an opening in the roof. Use it. Okay, I'm moving out. Hold on till I get there. Should have just pistoled him for the last. Uh, is he timed? What do you mean? I'll keep going. The rest of you, stay above ground. So if Miranda was the fake Mia, where's the real one? I doubt she saw any further use for her. I don't get any of this. How did Miranda even know Rose exists? <laughs> Some moldy little bird told her, maybe? We can figure that out later. No, there's supposed to be a uh, enemy damage counter up. I kind of just messed up my Does layout. For the next run, I'll get it up. Captain, make a mice seat. I have eyes on Miranda at the ceremony site. Cat. Keep your distance. Do not move until I give the order. 
know it's too late now, but we really should have told Ethan the plan. <laughs> it wasn't time. And we didn't expect Miranda to act so soon. Even so, you should have told him. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that that defeated Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he's so much better than in Oh my goodness, we are up to a minute time save? Fucking hell. Holy shit. Show me your hands. I don't know. Umbrise, this is Alpha. Where is it's an indoor run speed, maybe. My god. Let's fucking go. It's pretty pretty juicy if we get this. What's going on? What's going on? And I said, hey, yeah, 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 yeah. Did I get here? 133 glitchless new game plus that sounds pretty tough on console but you can do it yeah I'll have the rest of that this is shit uh that happened in RE7 also there Ethan has an indoor and an outdoor run speed uh At last, he awakes. Let's go. I gotta go. Gotta go. Well, then you could you could probably get one thirty three. You could do it. Sounds doable. Sounds doable. Out of my way. <laughs> well, your parents always told you not to run indoors, right? So, makes sense. Ethan's just being a good boy. Keep going. Juicy. You fulfilled your purpose, Mistress. You disposed of my false children and awakened the glorious of my sins. Now, please do not worry. Sweet. This is how you end. So now <laughs> Imagine the pain of slipping on it. To ensure I well, I ran in the house once, and I ran into a wall. Like, right into the corner. Fucked up my nose pretty good when I was a kid. And that was my parents like, That's why you don't run in the house. And I was like, oh, that's why I don't run in the house. <laughs> GG. Sub 130. Let's fucking go, dude. I am fucking stoked on that. Let's fucking go. Not bad. Sub 130 glitchless. We'll have some time save here, but. Woo. 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 Well, you don't run indoors, dude. Not bad. We still have some time save. Big time, but. <laughs> Yo, Ethan, thank you for gifting us up. Crazy Autumn, welcome to the family. Hope you enjoy the emotes. Thank you so much, Ethan. 91 gift subs in this channel. You freaking insane. You madman. Great moves. Had to get stitches. Dude. That's why you don't run in the house. This is the, we're all examples of why you don't run in the house. GG. That is... That is a time I am quite pleased with.